How's it going guys? Welcome back to another PS4 Jailbreak Progress update with a new Lapse Kernel exploit. We've had an update here from Chameleon so that we'll be able to jailbreak 9.00 without requiring a USB drive um, or another device. So we can essentially jailbreak just from the web browser and we're getting very close. In fact, you can actually technically get to the point of running something like Gold Hen already on 9.00 without a USB, which I will demonstrate a little bit later on here in this video. But obviously you shouldn't really be using this yet because it's not stable at the moment and it's still very much a work in progress thing. Chameleon posted yesterday uh, that you can test on PS4 9.00 using kmepsforgithubio slash PS3. You can just enter that in your web browser to access the exploit. You can get error messages like failed to make alias PKT ops error. Close and retry if you get that error message or you'll just kernel panic. As I said again on my repo, it needs some performance tweaks and a bin loader added. We'll try to fully finish it on the weekend. So yeah, we could get some pretty big updates here coming in the next couple of days. Also, Chameleon went on to say round two will be the bin loader and lapse optimization. Let's hope I can get something done on the weekend there. So if we take a look at this, I do have my 8.0 console. I just updated it to 9.00 for testing. So as you can see here, you just head over to the web browser on your 9.00 console. You go to kmeps4.github.io slash ps3. And when you enter that URL, it will run the exploit. Now, most likely you'll run into a bunch of errors. In this case, I got lucky with the first attempt here, or sorry, second attempt there. You can see we got a not enough free system memory error. But second attempt, we do in fact have the kernel exploit succeeded. Now you may get some kind of unhandled error message or those not enough free system memory errors, or you might just kernel panic where the console crashes and you have to reload it. That is normal at this stage. It still has to be optimized to kind of uh, try and make it as stable as possible. It's very much still in the unstable stage right now. So if we take a look a little bit more here, we scroll down, we can see it's showing there kernel exploit has succeeded. So beyond this, what you can also do, there's no bin loader built into it right now, but you can actually use a bin loader from like another exploit, like the original 9.00 jailbreak, which also used the PS3 WebKit exploit as the entry point. So you can actually use that to load a payload once you actually have the kernel exploit running. So if we just head over to kmeps4.site for Chameleon's 9.00 host, we can just use the manual hybrid option here to just load the payload directly because the kernel exploit's already running, we should be able to just directly load the payload. So we got not enough free system memory error there. If we try and load it again here, we should hopefully get Gold Hen running. And yep, there we go. Gold Hen has successfully been loaded. So yeah, you can actually use the payload loader from another exploit. Although again, once again, just to reiterate, this is not recommended. This is just, you know, we're trying to push it as far as we can go right now. But obviously, it's not ready for the end user yet. It's very unstable. It will eventually crash after a few minutes. Even if you don't load a payload, it will still crash just from running the kernel exploit. Even when it loads successfully, it will just crash the PS4 after, you know, two or three minutes. This is stuff if you've been involved in previous releases that we're all familiar with when a new jailbreak is just coming out. That everything is very unstable to begin with. And then over a short period of time, there are stability updates that get it to a workable level where it will no longer crash after running the kernel exploit and maybe get the actual kernel exploit itself to trigger more reliably with less errors when you try to load it. So that's the situation we're on right now. You can technically run something like Gold Hen on 9.00 without a USB drive, without using the PPPone exploit that requires another device to run the jailbreak. You can do it entirely from the web browser. We just kind of need everything wrapped up in a little bow where we'll have, you know, the bin loader built into the actual exploit itself, the lapsed exploit, instead of running it from another version. And then also, of course, optimizations to improve the stability and the reliability of the exploit. So that's the situation we're in right now. Obviously, other firmwares will get ported very soon. You know, it shouldn't take very long once we have a stable version on 9.00 in order to port it to other firmwares. It's basically already ported up to 9.60. There's just a few tweaks that seem to need to be made to actually get it to work on those firmwares. So once it's fully working on one firmware, it doesn't tend to take too long to port it up to others. This isn't the PS5 where we have to wait for K stuff to get ported or anything like that. Uh, and we already have working versions of Gold Hen all the way up to, you know, firmware 11.0. And we already have, you know, Hen VTX, which we can run 
up to higher firmwares. Where it might take a while is, you know, once we have it fully working up to 9.60 on the PS4, it will have to be ported using the Lua method to higher firmwares up to 12.02, and that might take a little bit longer. But generally, as you can see, some pretty big improvements made already, and we can expect to hopefully see some more improvements made here over the weekend. So anyway, I just want to give you guys a quick update here on where we are with the new Laps kernel exploit for the PS4. Obviously, PS5 will come later. Once everything's done for PS4, we'll likely then see the attention shift over to PS5. I'm sure I'll have more stuff coming out maybe by the end of the weekend. So hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.